Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So there is no long intro for today's video. We will jump right in this makeup tutorial for this look. And to start off the eye makeup, I use Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek as a base color. All the eyeshadows I use in today's tutorial are by Makeup Geek because I recently received some additional eyeshadows and I absolutely love the quality of their products. For the crease I used Frappe and a fluffy blending brush and I just worked it in as a transition color. Please don't mind how my skin is looking in today's video, I got some hardcore allergic reaction around my mouth and I still don't know why it happened, I just got that rash out of nowhere and it was burning like hell and my skin got so irritated. Now it's all good again but in this tutorial it just looks like a hot mess so I'm very sorry for that. Can you hear my cats meowing? They're destroying my voiceover. Maybe. Anyway, I add another transition color which is Coco Bear and I just worked that in as well. I always like to go in with a minimum of two crease colors since I love a gradient effect in the crease and Coco Bear is a teeny tiny bit darker than Frappe. Now I'm also adding Wild West which is a little bit more ashy than Frappe and Coco Bear. This step is totally optional, I just wanted to try out some of my new eyeshadows but you can definitely recreate this look using just the two before. For my mobile lid I take a flat shader brush and I pack on Dragonfly which is a matte turquoise kind of aquatic green color and I packed this color on step by step because I want it to be of similar opacity all over the lid. Just pack the color on right until the crease starts and then blend again and then pack it on again. Now you know I love Makeup Geek sparklers, this one is called Solstice I think or Solstice but I think it's Solstice pronounced and I pack it on top of Dragonfly. I didn't spray my brush with Fix Plus which is why it is literally flying everywhere but I didn't want the color to be too metallic, I wanted it to be more sparkly if that makes any sense. You can clean up the fallout with a makeup wipe and then I go in and draw a wing. I'm using Wicked by Sigma Beauty as always because it's my favorite gel liner. You can use my code Musha and save some money on your Sigma purchases. I will list all the products I used in this tutorial as well as coupon codes and affiliate links in my description box so if you're interested take a look at it. For mascara I'm using the False Lashes Mascara by MAC which is one of my all time faves. I've been talking about this mascara on my snapchat recently and I love the wand of the mascara and how it applies. For my lashes that I'm popping on today I'm using Lily Lashes in the style Vienna. I love these because they are so full and fluffy but they still look very glamorous and not too over the top if that makes sense. Thank you. 
For foundation, I'm using the Matchmaster foundation by MAC. This foundation has a more matte finish, but still doesn't dry out the skin. It has some decent coverage and it still feels very light. So for people who tend to get oily in their T-zone, but still have some dry patches, this foundation is a must to try out. I use my damp beauty blender to work the product in and you can see it covers my rash very well. Now for these horrible dark circles that I got lately, we will be using the original Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in light because it has this orange shade in the middle and it is perfect for cancelling out any prognosis. The contacts that I'm wearing are by Desio Eyes in Cherry Coffee if you're wondering. It is from their new coffee collection and I really really like them. I kind of feel like a vampire with wearing these, these ones. Now after blending out the correcting color, I go ahead and apply some concealer. I forgot to take a product shot of this and I'm very sorry but it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I basically highlight my whole face with this. So I apply it to the under eyes, around my mouth, on my chin, the bridge of my nose and my forehead and then I blend it all in using my beauty blender again as always. Now to set the under eyes, I'm using a loose face powder by Alan Beatrix and my damp beauty blender again. And to brighten that area even more, I add some Studio Fix powder in NW18. I also set the face with some Studio Fix powder in NC35 because I got very very pale lately and I need to tan myself again, hell yeah. Now to bronze up the face and contour I use my Bahama Mama bronzer by The Balm. I bronze my cheeks, my forehead and I also give it a soft contoured look, nothing too harsh. I also contour my nose with this and I use my MAC Oval Free Brush. This is by far, I think, my favorite brush for nose contouring so far. I want to give my cheeks that pinkish fresh color that goes so well with the turquoise eye. So I'm using Cabana Boy Blush by The Balm and I've been using the Balm blushes, blush, blah, blah, the Balm blushes a lot lately because they apply so smoothly and I love the quality.
Now to complete the eyes, I'm going in with Mint Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil by Makeup Geek and I will also finish the bottom lash line with some more Salt Style Sparkler and a small shader brush. This time I did spritz my blush... This... Oh God, what's wrong with me? This time I did spritz my brush with some Fix Plus so that the color comes up more metallic and will not fly around everywhere and destroy all my face makeup. For my highlight, I'm using Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics and I seriously don't know why but I lost half the footage of me applying the highlighter and then I got very very orange. I'm not sure what's wrong here but you guys know the drill. For my lips, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Lovely, which is as the name is telling us, a lovely pink that works great with the Cabana Boy blush. And then I will top it off with some um, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Metallic Rose. Now guys, this step is totally optional because you seriously don't need to do this. I was just feeling like why not top it off with the gloss and make it more metallic and, you know, complete it with the eye look. And yeah, that is it. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. I love you guys. Bye.